Another episode of Hip Hop Caviar is ready in three, two, one. All right, so let's just get right into it, right? Wu Tang, Wu Tang Clan, right? Let me tell you something. I am a super overzealous, super casual, fragilistic fan of Wu Tang, right? And I'm going back all the way to protect your neck. So you can imagine when I heard that they were coming out with a, a series, you know, I was I was hyped, right? I was hyped, right? So Wu-Tang and American Saga has returned for its final outing on Hulu, bringing the music drama to a close with a third season. Now, the show presents a fictional retelling of the formation of the iconic hip-hop group, Wu-Tang, with founding member RZA acting as an executive producer for the series. He also created the series with someone named Alex Say, right? The show stars Ashton Sanders, Shamik Moore, Sadiq Saunderson, Julian Elijah Martinez, Marcus Callender, Zoli Griggs, TJ Adams, Dave East, Janell Young, Yuyada Udi, and Damani Seas, right? And there's a great casting. I think everyone, you know, so far, as far as the casting, great job, right? They're able to convey things that went on back then with Wu-Tang. And they're, they're taking us through, you know, their trials and tribulations and ups and downs and everything else, right? So, the show is told from RZA's point of view, right? Um, right now, we're in the third season, which is the last season, which is the finale. And... You know, we we see the group face their biggest challenges yet, you know, collectively and individually, right? So again, RZA is telling you about the group, you know, from his point of view. But I'm going to have to give my point of view on this one. I'm going to have to give my point of view on this one, right? So, there, you know, this is the third and last um, season, like I said, right? So, there's going to be 10 episodes. So, so far, on February 15th, they dropped three episodes, right? I think they did that last season as well. Um, Because they take such a long break in between, you know, these seasons are coming back. Like, literally, like... I think one break was like almost two years. Like, I don't I don't understand what that's about. And I think a lot of people lost interest. You know, one thing about now, like, you know, the new millennium, right? Everyone has a short attention span. We want everything now, now, now. We want to binge watch. So you can't you can't reel us in for season one and have us wait two years for season two and another year for season three. But anyway, I digress from that, right? So this 10 episodes. Um Wu Tang gave us uh, three episodes, right? That dropped February 15th. So, you know, I wanted to watch all three in one day. I didn't. I couldn't help myself. I watched two um, February 15th. And a couple of days after, um, you know, I watched episode three, right? I just want to say something. Typically, with the production, and everything, you know, the directorship, everything is great, right? With this show. But episode three was trash. Yeah, I said it. It was trash. And this this means a lot. It even it even hurts me to say this because I'm a Wu Tang fanatic, right? I don't know what that was about. Spoiler alert if you have not seen episode three, right? Spoiler alert. It was trash to me. Listen. I literally sat on my couch and I was so frustrated. I was nodding off. Like I was tired, right? So it's, it's almost like season three, episode three, um, you know, it, it's like they went back into the 70s kind of, and you know, it was almost like a psychedelic trip from someone's point of view, right? And I'll get to, you know, I guess who produced that particular episode, right? Not understanding what that was about or how he ties into Wu-Tang, but I'll keep going. So it's almost like, you know, this episode was brought to us from a psychedelic, you know, eating mushrooms, sitting on a couch, you know, smoking hashish with the incense burning um, type of vibe, right? It made no sense to me, right? We were getting into the whole crux of ODB and, you know, 
you know, how he got his thing going on and how he kind of blew up his name and, you know, X, Y, Z. And we kind of got dragged into this magic school bus type of shit. You know what I mean? And I really did not like it. Um, you know, I think the episode should have really been based on how the production went through for, um, I like it raw, right? Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Like, cause you know, at the end they showed that video and it looked good, right? He did a good job as ODB, TJ Adams, right? But that was like the last three minutes of the episode. And I thought that was the best three minutes of the whole episode. The rest of the episode was trash. No, let me take that back. There was a scene. There was a scene where they were, you know, ODB was in a menage a trois with two women and it was hot. He was sniffing coke off a chick's butt. I mean, it was hot. It was hot, right? But everything surrounding that, you know, the whole 70s ex black exploitation uh, type of vibe, you know, afros and bell bottoms. And, you know, it just, it just didn't fit in with what I felt that they should have been trying to convey with ODB and his trials and tribulations, and, you know, and things he went through, and it, it just didn't fit in for me. So I find out, well, I guess, I'm assuming, because I've seen them walk Mario Van Peebles through the end of the, you know, the, the pseudo, uh, you know, faux video shoot for Ooh Baby, I Like It Raw, and they were walking him through. So I said, okay, this must have been the producer for the episode. I, I, I don't know what that was about. Mario Van Peebles should not have touched that if he was producing that particular episode. I mean, hey, stay in your lane, that whole New Jack City vibe. And, you know, I know you, you produced and directed that, I think, back in like 1992 or 91. But this right here, Wu-Tang is forever classic. Listen, at the end of the day, this is the last final season this is the finale there's no more after this so i feel like every freaking episode needs to be monumental right i think every single episode needs to hit hard so yes i think episode three that you know that dropped february 15th was garbage right I need you guys to take that episode back. Right? I'm going to return that episode back to you. Like, I'm going to the Wu-Tang store, and I got it wrapped up, and I have my receipt. I'm returning the episode. I don't want it. And I need you guys to make a bonus episode. <laughs> bonus episode 11. Because I that was not... Listen, like I said, I am a Wu-Tang fanatic. I love Wu-Tang. I'm, I'm, I'm Wu all the way. Wu culture, Right? But episode three was is was very very mid, very mid. I, I was very disappointed. I actually started falling asleep on it, right? So again, that's my opinion, you know, of, about the whole Wu Tang situation. That's my opinion. But other than that, I think everyone has done a wonderful job. Um, it, it shows a great portrayal of you know the whole clan: RZA, Jizza, Method Man, Raekwon, Ghostface, Inspector Deck. You got Master Killer, right? We're not going to forget about Capadonna, ODB, right? It takes us through the timeline from maybe 1992 onwards. So, unfortunately, this is the last season. Boo-hoo. I'm very sad about it. Hopefully, episode four um, next week, which will be airing February 22nd, will kind of, like, redeem episode three but yeah again that's just my opinion um yeah so if you like what you hear you know what to do like share and subscribe ciao